Hi everyone. If you're watching this video, then you'll want to see how I made a bench power supply without modifying the computer power supply. But I'm not going to show you how to convert a power supply. There are many fine videos and websites that can do that for you. Plus, I'm not qualified anyway. But what I can show you is how to do that without destroying the computer power supply in the process. All I did is get computer power supply extension cable that you can get in most computer and electronic stores. I plugged those into the power supply that I didn't want to modify. Then I cut the other ends off the extensions. I then followed the instructions on how to make the conversion using the cut ends of the extensions just like I would modify in the computer power supply, only putting it together in a different box. As you can see, I went as cheap as I could because it was a proof of concept. But what I wanted to be able to do is use everything the power supply could put out. So I connected all the power cords coming out of the power supply to the binding posts. It works great. I can turn the power supply on and off with a switch on my box that you are shown how to install along with the LEDs. Plus since the box was empty, I had plenty of room to hook everything up. And the best thing is, unlike a bench power supply, I can use different voltages at the same time with the computer power supply. And yes, I didn't use any fuses, again, proof of concept, but that doesn't mean that's how you should do it. Now, here, try and show you a little bit. The fan I didn't need. Okay, here's the power supply. It's plugged in through all these extensions into a bus. Once you activate it, that tells you that it's on standby. Flipping the switch turns the power supply on and and starts up the uh, starts up the uh, power to this. And let's see if I can show you. Very quickly here. Now, one handed. Here's your 3.3. Here's your 5. And there's your 12. It works great. Haven't had any problems with it. Sorry, the lighting is making it hard to see the one LED, but it is on. If you have any um, questions or constructive criticism, I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you.